Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we did various things here and there. We made it to Slate, Slate Port, we took the tour, and right. <laughs> and now, we're going to see the name Raider, because I misspelled my Sableye's name. Oops. I'm the Name Raider. I'm the fortune teller of names. I shall be pleased to read your Pokemon's nickname. Yes. Which Pokemon's nickname should I critique? Amethyst. It's misspelled. That is quite a fine name you bestowed. But what say you if I were to suggest a slightly better name? Yes. Then what shall the new nickname be? Yeah, he doesn't actually... Oh. Back. Select. I believe that's right. It's a better name than before. Yeah, it's spelled right. So, hey, at least it gives me a reason to show off the name Raider. So we have done everything else we need to do. It's time to head down to the shipyard. And deliver that package. Make sure that you have done everything you want to do in Duford before you do this, because otherwise... Yeah, you're not going to be getting back there anytime soon. So we got guys here. I get seasick real easily, so I get to help out here instead. Good to know. Is it me or does this thing look like a giant hippopotamus? The seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky, these and other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right, the sea is like a living thing. Yeah, yeah, tides. Tides are a thing. Uh, if this goes here, and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Technical terms. Arg! I can't make heads or tails of this. Hm? Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there. Are they Devon goods? But, hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Seriously? Uh, and, uh, yeah, that just... There's a hole in the floor. Designing a large ship is more like making a big building than putting together a transportation video or vehicle. Yeah? There's all the architectural stuff. Don't you think it's strange this ship made of heavy iron floats? It floats because of a principle called buoyancy. Yes, though the, you're not really talking about what, how it actually works. It works because there is so much air trapped inside the ship that even though the iron itself is um, heavy, heavier than water, and denser than water. The ship itself, as a whole, is less dense. And as you can see, t was made it inside. When I was a child, I visited the museum often. I used to dream about the mysteries of the sea after seeing the exhibits. Well, let's head in. I think we have to pay in... I... Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. Entrance fee is $50. Would you like to enter? Yeah, sure. Please enjoy yourself. Remember, all these prices are basically close to yen. If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? No, dude. If our goons didn't bungle things in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm kind of the point. Yeah. What I learn here, I can put to use in nefarious deeds. Ah, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? You all look alike to me, dude. I'm sorry. Back in Rust Turf Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Sure. Uh, that TM, it suits you more than it does me. Hope I never see you again. Wahahaha. <laughs> that TM is thief. It lets you steal your opponent's hold item. I didn't have 50 bucks, so it took a long time getting by the receptionist. Okay. We'll talk to her in a second. She's special. We were told to assemble here when we did, but our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. We, Team Aqua, exist for the good of all! You are all doofuses. So, alright. Let's see, Pokemon. Everybody's healed up, right? Good, good. Let's see, what do I have coming up? I'm going to switch, uh, and... 
no, I'm probably okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay. We're, we've got a fight coming up. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those may be the parts I heard, Mr. Stone of Devon. That's great, we can prepare for our expedition now. Goon alert. <laughs> Hold it, we'll take those parts. Wh what Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. Uh... So this guy has a new guy we haven't seen before, a Carvana. They have an ability called Rough Skin. They're also dark type as well as being water. Let's see. Mykonid Shift. Right. Anyway, yes, they're dark type as well as being water type. Yeah, focus energy. Ooh, this, this could be painful. You know what to do. Leech seed him. Ow! Oh man, yeah, bite will make you flinch sometimes. Rage? Ow. If you make physical... You jerk! Leech seed again. Bite again. Please don't flinch me. Oh, Jesus. Alright, uh, bag. I have potions for a reason. Um, actually, I have soda pop for a reason, too. Well, actually, I think, like I said, super potions are, uh, they cost more, but, let's see, that's 40, so yeah, I'm gonna use that on Mike and Ed, rather than waste a soda pop just yet. Bite, please don't flinch me. Okay, well, it didn't flinch me, but of course, that doesn't matter. Leech seed. Please don't flinch me. Ooh! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Fine. Um... Kihar, shift you out for now. Yeah, this is this is kind of a thing. I don't have any real weaknesses of yet. Wing attack. Luckily, he did not flinch my bird. Yeah, that does that is a problem too. Leer. That's fine. I don't know well. Bag, Kihar, Super Potion. There we go. Kihar's HP was restored. Rage. Fight. Wing attack. Yeah, this, this Carvana is kind of a pain. Yep. Yeah, Rough Skin, if it's a physical contact move, you will get um, injured. But hey. And Bruce gained a bunch of XP. And grew to level 13. That's nice. You gonna learn anything, Bruce? Ah, a kid beat me! Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is gonna be furious. Humph, <laughs> sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. Alright. So, now we've got this second guy. Team Aqua Grunt. Sent out Zubat! Oh, uh, um, let's see, Amethyst, uh, we're actually gonna bring out Harlan, because he's, A, needs the XP, B, is good at powering through, and can actually do some serious damage to Zubats. Supersonic. Alright, Ember, Leech Life. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Let's see. Come on, Harlan. Power through it. Yep. I love my chicken. Ah, uh, my... Oh, hey, I burned the zoo bath. That's nice. Good. Let's see. Um, actually, I am going to use a super potion on Mykonid. Yeah, I'm wasting a turn, but uh, we have another... Um, obviously, this guy has a Carvana, which I should actually have used it on Kihar. Oh, well. Eh. It's 
energy drained. Yeah, that doesn't do too much. And the Zubat is still being hurt, so I'm not really wasting a turn. So let's um let's heal up. I think I only need to potion Kihar. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Okay, because Kihar is going to come out and fight this guy's uh, Carvana. Yay. Yep, it's not very effective, and you're burned. So, yeah. I have a good chicken. I have a very good chicken. All right, Ember him again, Harlan. Yeah, yeah, you're very fast, Zubat. That's not helping you. Come on, Harlan. Power through. Power through. Aw. He doesn't always, but usually he does. Try it again. Power through, Harlan. Astonish. Well, yep. Yeah, it'll make you flinch and lose your turn. But. Power through, Harlan. Well, whatever. Ah. Oh. Oh, well, he's still hurt by his burn, and he dead. So, yeah. Harlan's gonna need some healing. Anethyst gained 40 XP, Bruce gained 81, Harlan gained 40, that's pretty nice. A Carvana will change Pokemon, yes! Back to the bird shift. Mike and it's kinda higher level than everybody else, it's not like it matters that he's gonna miss out on this fight. Alright. Kihar should hopefully be faster than this guy. Uh, fight. Wing attack. Yep. Sure, that hurt me, but... Okay, good. Focus energy. And, of course, that makes his attacks... Or, he makes him more likely to crit. But, that doesn't do any good if I kill him before he can attack. So... <laughs> All right. And Bruce gained 132 XP. Yay! And we get a grunt. Yes. What? I lost two. Yep. Wait, what? No, we don't get the parts. We're in for it. All right, I didn't count on being meddled but with by some meddling kid and their dog? No. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child? We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie! What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Note that I have fashion sense, so no. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part, like I said. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So, Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. No. No, it's not. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. No, actually, I've got a pretty good idea, and it's stupid. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. I'm considering it. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Yeah, right. Uh, you're... Oh, okay, you're Pen. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. Uh, yeah, here. Oops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our Ocean 4 expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. And I get a free heal from this guy, which is nice. Okay. So... There's not much else to do in Slateport. I thought there was a move deleter around here, but apparently not. Oh. Douche alert! Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. You did. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stunned. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe, just maybe this trainer... All right, I think you're gonna become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Douche. Register this Scott person in the Pokenav. That's, that's nice. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Pen. What are you, number two? Uh, 
No, not that number two. All right, so I could have sworn there was a move to later, but what do I know? Okay, this is the fairy. I did look everywhere. Well, I'll look up the move to leader. I could have sworn that person was in Slateport, but... Uh, let's see. Oop. Nope. Oh, hey, if it isn't Pen. Pen, let me guess. You're going to take the Battle Tent Challenge. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is a perfect fit for the Battle Tent. Give it your best effort. No, I don't think so. The Battle Tent, you use Pokemon they have. Um, you can pick from a small list. Okay, that's you. I think. I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. Could have sworn. Yeah, it's the fan club. And there's no move to leader in there. There's just a move tutor. Move tutors will teach one move to one Pokemon one time. Like, you know, that guy with the swagger. And I didn't think it was that useful. So now we come up here and Team Aqua are gone. This is the cycling road gate. You cannot go on the cycling road without a bicycle. Makes sense, right? Oh, look, it's Professor Birch. Oh, Pen, imagine seeing you here. And where might my Brendan be? I don't know. Do I have him lojacked? Oh, I see. You two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokenav has a match call system installed. Well, then I should register you in my Pokenav as well. That way, even when we're apart, I can read your Pokedex anytime. I'm... okay, sure. Pen, please keep an eye out for my Brendan. Well, I had better get going. See you again, Pen. Sure, okay. So we've got some interesting trainers on this route. Um, and it is time to move the boulder forward. Let's see, uh, Amethyst, you shouldn't be weak. Er, dang it. We got a double battle coming, by the way. Uh, Amethyst shouldn't be weak, so, to what we've got coming out. So, yeah. <laughs> I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more adorable sight. Mm. So, yeah. Pokefan Isabel and Pokefan Caleb want to battle. Yes. His kid's in a Pikachu onesie. And she's got plushy whale mer. Go! The boulder and amethyst! I... Crud! Okay, let's see. What you've got... Okay, you do... I did use rock to move. Good. Um, well, let's just try it out. There. Amethyst will at least try... Uh... Try Nightshade on... The... You... What you... I really should have done. Yeah. They use Helping Hand. Ow. Well, that's gonna be a thing. Amethyst is paralyzed. It may be unable to move. But she used Nightshade. You really actually, what you want to do is concentrate on one of these. The boulder used Rock Tomb. Okay. Uh, that's it's not hugely effective. I wonder if Tackle is actually more effective. Uh, let's see. Tackle, but attack the Minin and uh, Nightshade the Minin again. Faux Minin is ready to help Faux Plusel. Sometimes they will do that. They will both use Helping Hand, which doesn't really help anybody. Okay, Tackle is definitely not. I have Ameth or the Boulder out because he's ground type. Their attacks cannot hurt him. Amethyst is out just because she needs uh, healing. Or er, healing. Okay, just go with, the, go with the Rock Tomb. He can use Mud Sport, which would help if I had, like, a, a water type out, Mud Sport. Mud Sport's really good for double battles, is what its real thing is. So, we're going to take out the Minin. Because his other, the guy's other is a Plusle. You want two of the same, because, of course, they don't do so well. Yep, speed fell. Amethyst use Nightshade. Let's see. I eh, better use uh, Rock Tomb again. Amethyst fight. Amethyst is honestly doing pretty well. There we go. Puzzle is ready to help Fog Minin. 
they get a they get a boost to power when there's a plusle and a minin out. That's why you would rather have two a plus because they have a plusle has the ability plus and minin has the ability minus. And when you have two Pokemon with those two abilities in a double battle, you get um, yep yeah, the boulder yeah the boulder leveled up. I'd like to level the boulder up to 16. I don't know when the, if that's going to happen anytime soon. And it just grew to level 10. That's nice. All right. Uh, Pokefang Cable. Caleb, send out Plusle. All right. Now, they can still use Helping Hand. So, we're going to attack. We're just going to keep attacking Caleb's Pokemon. But they don't get the... They don't get the bonus from minus and plus now. Amethyst's attack fell. The boulder used rock tomb. If, when the boulder runs out, I will have to switch the him out. Of uh, When he runs out of PP, I'll have to switch him out, but hey. Let's see, Amethyst used nightshade. Yeah, uh, Orinberry, that's gonna keep happening. Fight, um, tackle, good, fight, night, sh oh, crud. <sighs> Don't do that, folks. Make sure you're selecting the right Pokemon. Low Plusle used Helping Hand, but it failed. Yes, the Boulder used Tackle. It really doesn't do a heck of a lot of damage, but it saves my PP. Alright, tackle again. Fight Nightshade again. Luckily, these guys really do waste a lot of turns using Helping Hand, so. Alright. Yeah, see? Alright. And, hey, we're chipping. Ah, uh, Amethyst's Paralysis decided to act up. Alright, Rock Tomb and Nightshade again. Luckily, you don't use up PP if you're if you lose a turn due to paralysis. Which is nice. Rock tomb. I believe I'm going to go back and heal after this battle. <laughs> Get some PP back cuz there's more trainers on this route. Plus we're at you're we're coming up on the amount of time we're coming up on the end of the episode. So that's nice. Okay. Alright. The boulder is definitely going to use Rock Tomb on this guy now. Amethyst is going to use Nightshade. Now this... Now the lady also has a Plusle and a Minin. And the idea is that you would have taken one out, then the other, and gotten right back to having a Plus and a Minus set up. That's why you use Strategy! And they all have berries. So... This is a long and annoying fight. The good news is that the boulder will get... Um... Yeah, yeah. The boulder will get a experience... From... This fight, even if I have to switch... Seriously? The boulder will get experience from this fight, even if I have to switch him out. So... And I might have to switch him out. Yeah, of course it failed. Alright. I probably will just have the boulder use tackle until... And let Amethyst continue to, uh... Nightshade these guys to death. Er, to faint, excuse me. Good, good. Alright, so 90 XP and the boulder grew to level 9... At level 10, I believe the boulder... Oh, Bruce grew to level 14. Still haven't learned anything interesting, huh, Bruce? And now we got a mine on. Uh, boulder is gonna use... Uh, well, no, just use up your rock tomb and then move to tackle. Right. Nightshade. Yeah, you notice that when she start getting down too far, your... The, your PP... The num things start getting high. Your PP amount gets highlighted to say, Hey, you're running out. Starts at... Yellow goes to red. But it's not that big a deal. 
Hmm, that actually wasn't even nearly as much as I was hoping it would be. I mean, he gets the same type attack bonus, but these guys aren't really weak to rock, so. Still, it does more damage than tackle, so. Plus, of course, these guys have been lowering my, my uh, attack for a while, but that's okay. Amethyst's attack fell. The boulder used Rock Tomb. And now the boulder is out of PP for that move, but that's okay. Good. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Uh, this is a long battle, but it's okay. Alright, so out of PP, as you can see, it's red now. Amethyst is just gonna use Nightshade. Jeez! Okay. Alright, the boulder used tackle. Amethyst used nightshade. Yep. I could fight the next lady. She's got grass types, and Harlan can pretty much take those on. But, you know. We're, we're at 26 minutes here, and there's still the profile to do, so I'll get to work on that later. So we're going to just finish this off and go back and save. Yep, there we go. So the two lowest members of my team managed to get some pretty nice levels. And the boulder's level 10 and should be learning a new attack. Nope. I thought you learned a new attack at level 10. Eh. Amethyst is learning a new attack, Astonish, which is a ghost-type move. Yes! <laughs> Delete a move to make room for Astonish. Yes. I don't use, um... I don't use defense moves, lowering moves. I hope... I'd like you to get a dark-type move, like Bite or Crunch. We'll see if you can learn those. But, uh, Astonish is still pretty nice. Okay. Oh dear, this won't do. Have you no compassion or pity? Have you no decency? At long last, sir, have you no decency? Yeah, I'm not exactly McCarthy. That wasn't close to what I could do to show off my Pokemon. I'll have you as my captive audience as often as possible. Creepy! So yeah, we registered her. Now it's time to go back and heal. And then switch things around for our next uh, fight. So, and that was, that's been a pretty productive day, so we're gonna just come in here, heal, and save. Pardon me. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, okay. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play uh, Pokemon Emerald. Thank you. And back, or, no, oi, save. You get into the habit. Yes, there's already a saved file. Yes, all right. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Good night. So today we have a two for one deal, Plusle and Minin, because we didn't spend enough of the last however long dealing with these two. Plusle and Minin are Generation 3's adorable electric rodent Pokemon, following in Pikachu's footsteps. Gen 2 had Pichu, by the way. I know rabbits aren't rodents, but these are the only two bunny types in the lot. As you can see, they share a great deal of their design with Pikachu, from their basic yellow coloring, to their electric typing, to their black eyes and cheek spots. Plusle and Minin are designed around each other, which makes sense as they're inspired by positive and negative charges, especially the anode and cathode, positive and negative ends of an electrical circuit. Everything about these two Pokémon was designed to work together, mostly to showcase the brand new double battle mechanic. Their abilities work in sync, they're guaranteed to know and use, helping hand a lot. They're sort of the sub-mascots for Ruby and Sapphire, much as Pikachu is a sub-mascot for Generation 1. Plusle and Minin are also based on cheerleaders, hence both being said to create electrical pom-poms with their paws. Helping Hand is also a move based on the idea of cheerleading, revving up your partner with your encouragement. For a more in-depth look, we'll start with Plusle. Plusle is the positive pole, hence its name. It's called Prassle in Japanese, but that's basically the same thing. 
Both are derived from plus, or purasu. Thus, it has plus symbols on its cheeks and a tail that's shaped like a plus. This tail may be a reference to the labeling tags placed on wires used in electrical work. Plusel's red coloring may be something similar, as in the U.S., it's common for the positive wire in any direct current setup to be colored red as a matter of course. This isn't actually an industry standard, it's just really, really common. Plusel's stats are a mirror image of Minen's, with a slightly stronger focus on attack rather than defense. If Plusel is the positive, Minen must obviously be the negative. Minen's name is the same color in English and Japanese, being derived from minus, hence the cheek and tail markings. Minen's color is blue, whereas negative wires in most DC electrical work in the states are black. But blue is more commonly seen as the opposite of red, especially in Japanese language, and the two games they appeared in first were ruby and sapphire, so Minen's major color is blue. Minen's stats are focused on defense rather than attack. Oddly enough, while shiny Plusle is simply a deeper color of red, shiny Minen is almost a green color. This may be a reference to red and green being complementary colors, or the fact that until very recently, blue and green were referred to with the same word in Japanese, ao. The word midori came into use during the Heian period, around the 9th century, but wasn't considered a separate color of its own until after World War II.